Hi Regina, hi Debbie. I hope you're having a lovely time Debbie at your uh, kids lake house. It looks so lovely, uh, so relaxing and I'm really jealous that you're finding the time to, to paint. Morning Donna, morning to you too. Well this is, oh hang on we've got some, I hope you're having a lovely time oh, Debbie. Wrong way, that's it. Um, Exciting day today because it's the last day we're putting the finishing touches onto our giveaway journal. Um, and I've, I've got the journal pretty much all put together here and we'll have a look through it in a bit. Um, but it's looking nice, looking nice and fat, isn't it? <laughs> um, but today we need to just finish off the front cover and do the dingly danglies for the spine. So I was going to have various thoughts about this front cover and at one stage I thought that I would put another raised piece on it. Obviously not this image but you know small lace etc. So uh, I asked Mr Fix it if he would cover me a piece of um, foam cardboard which would give me some height. But then I found this image and I really really love it and I think it's so in keeping with the rest of our journal. Hi Hilda, hi Flo, <laughs> got the whole gang here today, it's really nice, nice of you to join me, thank you. So I put this uh, lace, stuck the lace down first, mitered the corners in, it's beautiful lace this. I got it off Ali but I can't remember which, or, you know, which order it was because I order loads of lace all the time. Because um, it takes a while to come from AliExpress. So, you know, you order it and then by the time you get it, you think, did I really order that? I can't remember it. Um, but I just keep ordering it, you know. So generally, we sort of once a fortnight or something, I'll go on and I'll order quite a bit of stuff. So as, as I'm using stuff, I'm getting stuff through in the post. Um, and it's exciting anyway when you get an order, isn't it? It's nice to see what you, because you've forgotten what you ordered. So that's Ali Express Lace around there. And it's really, it's the best quality lace I've used for a while. And then over the top is this beautiful picture that came from my porch prints on Etsy, the downloadable files that you get. And just a warning, guys, I've just ordered a whole load more kits from that woman uh, at my porch prints. Her stuff is really, it's the best I can find on Etsy, to be honest, although I'm sure there's many, many other good people. So this was one of her ephemera pictures and it was only tiny and I blew it up and it's really kept its clarity well. And I mounted it on this bit of pink card, inked around the edges and there you have it. Mr Fixit has sorted out all the fabric for me. That's the back of the front page, which is this really neat collage of all, not all the papers I've used, but some of the papers that I've used and I've stitched around it. And I think it looks nice. I wanted something flat. So um, flat but interesting. So that's, and this piece and this piece are part of the baseboard that we made, if you remember. Um, so they turned out well and very useful as well. And I will be making a new baseboard for my new journal. Right, so what I have planned with this is, you may remember, if you don't, I'll show you, that on one of the pages in the journal itself, we used this sort of raffia and this button. And the other part of that, I think it came around the neck of a glass jar or something from Poundland, because <laughs> I am the last of the big spenders. I really am. Uh, and attached to it was this cork heart. There was a cork heart, that uh, wooden button thing, and this raffia stuff, um, which tied around the neck of the thing, the jar. Uh, so I don't really want the jar for anything, but I nicked this off it. Um, and all I've done is put some lace um, around it, just to sort of, well, you can see, like that. So I was thinking, this is my thought so far, that I would put that up there. Before I do that, is everybody doing all right? Hi, Paula. Nice to see you. Um, yeah, my porch prints, aren't they just the best? Really good stuff. Um, 
<laughs> at least it's starting out okay. Well, if it finishes like your blinking peach cobbler dump cake, I can't get that out of my mind, Regina. For those people who didn't watch Regina's little live the other day, she was in a kitchen and she was showing us what she'd just brought out of her oven. And it was this, what we would call in this country, a tray bake. Um, and it, oh God, it had peaches in the bottom and they looked all like they had sort of caramelly syrupy stuff all over them. And then this cake, oh, unspeakably nice. Um, and she showed us it and then said, OK, right, I'm off to eat it. Bye. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Oh, dear. I can't get it off my mind. Uh, it's like the other day somebody said they were making strawberry cobbler. I could, Stop it, please. Um, so I hope you're all doing all right. Um, I am. Mr. Fix it is. We're all OK. So this is, I think, going to go up there and I'm going to put some sort of flowery, business on it not sure what you know some amalgamation of all this stuff and then maybe down here just to balance it out uh another couple of sort of flowers you know i mean they're going to be arranged they're not just going to be hurled on like that uh and that's that's where i'm up to at the moment so i think the thing to do really first is probably stick that on i'll switch my glue gun on i've forgotten to heat that up so I think I'm going to need some assistance sticking this down the hot glue gun I think might be just the job um, I'll leave it on anyway because I want to stick the the flowers stick better with hot glue definitely than they do with other glues so what I've got to play with are these and I just know that you can't see how pretty they are they are completely iridescent and really really nice so i've got some of those to use i've got some of these pink pearls the plastic but they look like pearls um i have got um these cerise roses some pink roses uh some itty bitty pink roses much smaller than the other ones what else do I have? I have these, which I really quite like, but I don't know if I can fit them on. But I'll, I'll leave them there. They're part of the part of the master plan. <laughs> and then these, um, which are pink, and they're very, very, very pretty, as you can see. Uh, I've, I've I've got a load of other stuff, but that's got nothing to do with us for the time being. We will get to that later later on but everything's caught up with everything else right so let's get everything down here i'm also thinking chaps of yeah i've got little white roses as well which i quite like um i'm thinking about putting this little little padlock i don't know if you, how well you can see that there we are i think it's a tim holtz ranger one um onto my cork heart and then I'm going to make the fastening of the whole journal somehow incorporating this key. Now, I appreciate that the different sizes, that key does not fit in that padlock. But we aren't allowed to go out just to go to a craft shop. So uh, I'm using what I've got, which is not insubstantial, but, you know, it's just what I've got. So if I'm going to use this for the fastening, I need quite a big hole there. And these are the only keys that I've got. Oh, they're not Tim Holtz after all that. I don't know what they are. I don't know. Um, so my choice really was that one. And these are the only padlocks I've, I've got. Uh, so that that's what it's gonna. That's what it's gonna be. Right. So do you think my glue gun's warmed up? It doesn't matter really because I can start sticking things onto my heart. Don't forget, chaps, that this journal in its entirety, finished, complete, is the giveaway. And it's the giveaway for getting to 500 subscribers on YouTube. And I cannot thank you enough. I know that some of you, Debbie, for example, have been really pushing my, my um, channel. Thank you so much. We have smashed through the 500. Um, and as a 
giving back to you guys. I can't give to each of you. I can't give 500 things away. I just can't. Um, but I'm doing one journal. And tomorrow, yes, Regina, the recipe. Um, tomorrow I will do the live tomorrow at two o'clock will be uh, a walk through the, the journal. I'll do a little walk through with you guys today because you're friends and you deserve it. Um, but tomorrow will be the official giveaway video and there will be instructions on that as to what you've got to do to be in with a chance of winning it. Um, be nice if one of you guys won it, really would, because um, you've been so supportive. Two big cans of sliced peaches. You see there, straight away I got it wrong. Because I thought, because you lived down there in the States, you would have peaches hanging on trees in your front garden. But a tablespoon of cinnamon, vanilla, half a tablespoon of nutmeg, a bottle of squeezy butter, parquet or whatever kind, just as long as it's a squeezy bottle, and one box butter recipe yellow cake mix. That's great. That's a really good help to us because we've got none of them things here. <laughs> yes, Debbie, the did. The subscribers came through. Thank you, Bonnie. 500 plus subbies. It's amazing. Um, right. That's enough of your blinking peach cobbler because I just can't concentrate now for thinking of it. I'm imagining when it gets cold and sort of sets a bit, you can slice it and have cream with it. And it's just... It's been playing on my mind since I saw it. And I think that was Thursday, Wednesday or Thursday. And I just keep having like flashbacks <laughs> to Regina's cake. It's ridiculous. Anyway, look, let's get on with the process in hand. This is just madness. <laughs> so I'm going to use some of these. Um, I want to kind of put a, just some ideas out and see what, what happens. I don't know whether you can zoom in a little bit because you're going to struggle, I think, to see some of these. That, that, that's a deficient one. Just right on the heart, really. So I want these to sort of come off the heart and um, come down onto the page. I'm just using the scissors that I use for everything. I, I appreciate that that's not, you know, the best of practice, really. Um, but it's, it, they seem to work all right for it and they work afterwards. So these are all tingly, tangly up. might not want these quite so long, but I quite, I quite like them coming down off the heart onto the page. And I'll put a couple of these on as well. I've had these for so, so long. Um, I never really found much use for them, to be honest. Yeah, I quite like that there. Um, I'm going to cut this off full length, but I might just cut it down a little bit. Otherwise, they're all going to be uniform. We don't, cut, we don't really want uniform. Mm, we're, getting, we're making progress already, I can see. We're making progress. Maybe this one just there. Yeah, okay, I mean, you know, we're coming on. Uh, right, I think I'll move on to the flowers. See what we can do with these. These were another Ali purchase. <laughs> I own quite a lot of Ali stuff. Um, as I say, I go on about once a fortnight, order stuff, you know, everything, stamps, inks, you name it. Uh, let's, put a, let's put another pink one. Let's to fix it's buzzing around. I'm not sure what he's doing. He usually sits down, but he's buzzing around with a worried look on his face. Let's 
You all right, Mr. Fix It? Yeah. Yeah. Good. You just have zoomed in on there, but I just know at some point you're going to move it from there. Oh, yes. I probably am. So what about that? If we put a little... These might be a little on the long side. Oh, he's moving my iPad now. Can get some light onto it. You like the close-up views over here? It's it's easier to see what's going on, isn't it? For sure. I'm not gluing these, and I'm not saying this is where they're staying. I'm just having a bit of a a try on. They're all sticking to my fingers. Oh, give over. Behave yourself. But like when you get up in the morning, you can't decide what to wear. Mm, shall I put this on? Mm, shall I put that on? Oh, my, my heart's gone a bit wonky. Right, I've also got somewhere <laughs> these these little things, and these are like stamens, you know, at the middle of flowers, um, and they've got this lumpy bit on each side, which you can sort of slot in between your flowers, and it gives a more sort of natural look. Natural. We're talking about paper flowers here, you know. I mean, they're never going to look natural. So I think I need to cut these off a little bit. I think they're too long. Um, but I do quite like these being long. So let's make a start with that. Let's glue the blessed thing on first. Um, and then at least it won't be moving on us. So I'm going to stick loads of hot glue on this. Because it's the sort of thing I think that I might want to try and get off. So I'll get this right first time, I think. About there. And I'm just going to hold that down until the glue cools down. Catfish. Mr. Fixer, is it repainting our patio furniture? <laughs> I don't think that's what he had in his mind, but you can never tell. <laughs> Yours is getting your boat ready. I want some fresh catfish. Mm. I didn't know you could eat catfish. Shows you what I know, doesn't it? Right, I think that's, yeah, that's, it's pretty firm, guys. It's pretty firm. So I forgot, didn't I, about our um, lock. Now, I've just had an idea about that. It's just come into my head. I had some, these things. You know these favour bags that you give out at parties, weddings? You're only zoomed in for there, remember? All right, look, favour bags made of organza and they've got like ribbon round the top, like this here. Well, I can tell you there's no wedding happening any time ever. So I, I don't even know why I've got them. Obviously a sort of bit of a brain fart on the old alley front. Um, so what I'm thinking is I can tie that round there and then glue that on. So if I do it like that. I could even do a bow, I suppose, really, couldn't I? Go all jazzy on it. This is turning out rather better than I had in my head. Something's going to go wrong. Yeah, that's quite nice, isn't it? I'll just cut my uh, ends off. Really. Right. Yeah, I like that. I'm just going to put the merest dot of a bit of glue on that so the ribbon will never come undone. Because it would be annoying, wouldn't it, if it kept coming undone? Right, so there we are, just a little dot of that. And I'm just going to put that there and hope I don't live to regret it. Yeah, it's going to need some hot glue on that, I think. Hot glue. I don't think it's going to need much, but 
that's a little dot of hot glue there. I'll just pop it down there. Yeah, 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 we're doing all right. I think so anyway. Right, okay, so it's, it really is time now to build. <sighs> what about these? I want these on. But I might want to put them on after I've put the roses, I think. So let's have a look where the roses are going to go. These roses are fabulous uh, for this sort of thing. I mean, they really are. I can't imagine you'd get better value for money than Ali. Unless you guys know something I don't know. That's quite nice if I crunch them all up there and then put my other bits and pieces in. Right, that's, that's what's happening, folks. I'm going to glue them. And they might not be exactly where I said they were going to be, but there'll be something like that. Ooh, I've squashed that a bit. <laughs> I was a bit keen in my glue in there. I've squashed my rose. There we are, it's back to normal. And this one, which I think I had sort of more down there. You've got to sort of hold them down, in which case they're going to get a little bit squashed, but yeah, it's, all, it's actually stuck. I just got visions of this being won by someone in not in the UK and and really need to obviously you need to make sure everything's stuck down for anywhere but I don't want it rattling to bits on a jumbo jet across the Atlantic. I quite like that you know with just two flowers on. I, I think that's quite nice. I wonder if I should put one more there. Rule of three. Rule of three, yeah. There is a rule of three when you're doing this, or five or seven or whatever. Always add odd numbers, otherwise your eye thinks, what? That's not right. So I could get away with putting a little white one in there. That might be quite nice. Yeah, I, I like that. I like that. That's what's going to happen. Bend that over a bit more. Do you guys use hot glue guns um, on your journal or do you have some other method of gluing stuff securely that I don't know about? <laughs> Get glued, please. Stay down. Stay. Right, okay, I'm quite happy with that. I quite like it. Question is, I mean, do I actually really need to add any of these things to it? Let's cut that right down and see what happens. Well, I don't, I don't think you're seeing that, but it is pretty. I've glued that so well I can't get anything in. No, 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 no. Right, I was see going to add some of that as well. I had great ideas, but I really like that. I think that's, I like it. What, what, have you, what do you lot say? Um, I've hundreds of the smaller bags. I know, what are you going to do with them? It, it's like I feel the urge to collect them and have no purpose for them. Don't have a clue as to what to do with the suckers. <laughs> well, do what I do, what I've just done. Cut the, um, cut the ribbon out. And then at least you've got ribbon to use. I'm, I'm sure, I'm certain sure in my head I'll find some purpose at some stage for these bags. But I haven't got a blinking clue at the minute. I think it came with the jewellery making and stuff. Yeah, at some stage, um, moons ago, many moons ago, there was a, well, the tale of it is that Mr Fixit and I were on our way to the takeaway shop which is eight miles away. It's the nearest place to us because we live in the middle of nowhere. It's the nearest shop full stop. It's the nearest shop full stop, yeah. It was, I don't know, seven or eight o'clock in the evening and I had my jammies on. 
Um, and he said, are you coming with me? And I said, yeah, well, I won't get out of the car, so it doesn't matter what I'm wearing. So when we went there, we put our order in, then we went to the news agents to pick up the local paper, and the advert in the back was, you know, in, in amongst all the other adverts, this woman was selling all a jewellery making kit. Now to Mr Fixer, that's like honey to a bee, you know, a job lot of stuff, yeah, he's got to have it, definitely. So we rang her up and she said, like the advert had just gone in that day that it was it's a weekly paper but it just comes out on a Thursday which was the day we were reading it she said oh I've had loads of people ring up and they're coming tomorrow so <laughs> Mr Fixer says don't worry we'll be there in half an hour hang on for us so we went to pick up our takeaway left it so we could microwave it or whatever later hurtled to the next town which is probably about another 30 miles away uh, and got to this woman's house and she just had so much jewellery, stones, finding everything you could think of. Um, and so we bought the lot, <laughs> which is how come I've now got so many um, beads and stuff like that. Uh, anyway, that's the story of that. I can't even remember what I was telling you that for, but never mind. Because you were in your pyjamas. Oh, yeah, because I was in my pyjamas. Why was I telling them I was in my pyjamas? I can't remember now. Because <laughs> <laughs> you often go shopping late at night to people's houses in your pyjamas. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's right. So when we got there, <laughs> I was in my pyjamas. Oh, well, you know, these things happen, don't they? She wasn't fussed. She just wanted her own money. Right, let's cut this one off then, see where we're up to. I'm not a big hot glue user, no, neither am I actually, Debbie. Uh, use a quick grab or quick tap type glue. Yeah, the art glitter glue is a very good glue, I believe. I haven't got any. It's really difficult to get hold of, actually, in this country. Um, well, we only tend to use it during lives because you need some in instant. Don't yeah. You? you can't wait around watching glue dry. Before well, you my can't. Videos. <laughs> Mm, don't like that so much. Let's get some of these out and fold them up and see what they look like in there. No, I'm not even liking those. I mean, and I don't like mood. I can see it. So if I had two, ooh, that's a bit crushed. Have to give that one the kiss of life a bit, I think. Uh, and one more cerise. I, I think we will have balanced it out. It'll look pretty and we'll all be all right. Mm. It's going to need a white, I think, to um, just to balance with the top. I've just cut it and now it's gone. It's disappeared. <laughs> oh, there it is. That was ridiculous. So yeah, a little, little white one in there. Let's get sticking and see see where we're up to. We need two whites to abide by your rules. Oh, yeah. Let's put that one in the corner. Trying to squash it a bit. Right, and if I put this playing tricks on me today. Oh, oh, yeah. If ever I get through um alive without going where I'm gonna open a bottle of champagne, I don't even drink. Because <laughs> everything is where. Where where did I put that? Yeah, I quite like those greeny bits there. And if I put those greeny bits there, what am I left with? No, nah, not right. That's sort of right, but it's a bit stark. It's a little bit on the stark side. Yeah, I quite like that actually. I might just cut 
cut another one up. Um, I'll cut it down one more so it's slightly longer. And it's the top end so it's it's lighter, they get lighter and get darker as they get further to the... Yeah, that's better I think. I quite like that. What do you think? Yeah, I, I think it's all right. I think it's okay. That's what I think. So let's go. So I want that just up from the bottom a little bit. And same with this one. Pretty. I know it was a skull bunny, you're quite right. It took us like two days to go out through everything to see what we what we had. And even now, you know, I'll say things like, oh, if only I had some green beads or, you know, something along that line, Mr. Fix-It will go, wander upstairs and he'll come back down with like, a whole basket full of green beads and say, oh, was this what you had in mind? <laughs> Might have been. Because <laughs> I just can't remember everything that, that we got. And it is, it's probably two years or more ago, isn't it? I'd say. Would you say a couple of years? About four. Four years. Fair enough. I think these bend. Yeah, they do bend. So look, I'm just going to bend that round there. And I'm just going to bend that one up there. Does it need another one in the middle? It needs something in the middle now, doesn't it? I, oh, that one's stuck because of the pink. Let's stick this one in. Just a little bit of hot glue. And we'll see what we need. Another pink one. A little pink one. I have little pink ones. They're cute. Couple of those, yeah. Couple of those, then we're sorted, I think. What do you reckon, guys? Does that look okay? Does it need something up here? Well, does it? Turned into Clint Eastwood there. I don't know which looks better. Don't know. No, that. That looks better. So I'm just going to stick these two weeny little pink dotty ones in. Wee dots of things, that's what they are. I'll go there. And this one here. Yeah. This wasn't supposed to be a brain teaser. It's turned out that way, I know. As to most of my things. It was just supposed to be, let's pop some flowers on the front of there and then we'll get on with the rest. But I like that. I, I like that. That's the uh, top heart there. Wow. Can you see it? <laughs> I like that little padlock on it. Yeah, I like that. And then down to here, and that's the bottom corner. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Job done. Job is, as they say, a good one. Job's a good one. Right, I need a little bag to put all these flowers away, because otherwise they're going to irritate the life out of me. Look at that little bag. Zoom out. Yeah, maybe zoom out a little bit. I'll keep my key out, because I want it for the fastening. If I don't put these away now, guys, they're going to just get caught up in everything. And I'm going to get cross. I don't get cross very often. It's an infrequent thing. Hasn't happened in the last, I don't know, 20 years or so. Right, there we go. Now then, do you want to see through the journal now? And then we'll do the tie 
the thing or shall I leave it? Do the tie first, I would. Do the do the tie, right. Okay. So this is for the this is gonna be the um dingly dangly bits down the spine. Well it hasn't got a spine, it's got rings, but it'll be clipped onto the rings so there's a nice lot of dingle dangleness going on on it. And I have selected some things uh, that I think we might use. Oh, look at this. There's loads more flowers. They're everywhere. They're breeding. It's spring. They're all coming to life. I think that's the end of Oh, no. And there's more. Right. So what we need is to make a tassel, basically. Um, but we don't really want to use it out of totally always conventional stuff like like um, ribbon and what have you. I'm going to have to use some ribbon, but, you know, not, not all ribbon. So I want them about 12, 13 inches long, somewhere between 10 and 13. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. That's 13. So I'll cut that off there and pers um, preserve that bit because it's the only bit I've got left. Uh, and I've got this, <coughs> excuse me, frog in my throat. I don't know where the end of this is. Here, the, this is this, that sequin ribbon. Where are you? There. It's just like sequins put together on a ribbon. So they're very shiny. Uh, they're white, but they do have pink bits in them. So I'm going to cut that off. Sim similar length but a wee bit shorter and then then I'm just going to stick a bit of glue on the back because these sequins have a habit of all falling off the thread so I'll just put that glue on there to hopefully stop that happening the other end's all right because I did that when I cut it the other way. So I'll, I'll leave that just facing down till it, it's doing a downward dog, till it <coughs> glue dries. So here's another little bit of um, lacy, ribbony AliExpress special. Um, and here is another one. This is really white and I quite like the inclusion of that because there's quite a lot of white in our journal. This is my last, very last bit of this ribbon. So whatever length that is, it's going in. Um, and flowers, I told you, I told you, they get everywhere. They like to be the star of the show. Um, now, what else can I put in? Well, I've got some of this ribbon. It's pink and it's got spots on it, but I have used spotty pinks in the journal. So I think we'll be all right with that. And I've also got this uh, Cerise uh, satin ribbon, which I can put in. And I might put a couple of bits of that in, actually. Just cut it off at an angle, save it fraying. Uh, different, slightly different lens. So, now then, apart from that, which is going to make a pretty, I might just put another one of these in actually, because they do catch the light really nicely. So I'm just going to glue at each end there. And hopefully not get it all over my fingers. I just wanted a slightly different length to the other one, so they're not all finishing at the same length. Hilda's got to go food shopping. Hilda, I know what you're buying. You're buying tinned peaches <laughs> to make Regina's cobbler dump. Don't be ashamed, Hilda. I would if I could. <laughs> right, so I also want to include, if you remember around the journal, I can't move this stuff now because it's got wet glue, so I'm going to have to do it here. If you remember around the journal, Mr Fixit has very kindly covered all the edges of, of our journal and he's used this fabric which is patchwork weight cotton um, 
and have I got a salvage on here? No. So I'm going to just make some little, um, just going to cut that into there and rip it. Oh, it wants to rip the other way. Excellent. Oh, this is the bit that I'm after. Right, so I, I need a frayed edge on the edge, so I'm just going to cut in a little bit. Tear that off. That's waste, pretty much. There's not much you can do with that. Um, but it does leave you this lovely frayed edge. So I'm going to do another one of those. Just quite small. I mean, I think that's... If I had to say, I'd say that's three-eighths of an inch... <laughs> Somewhere, a quarter of an inch, something like that. Um, and you'll see it's really nice. Just adds that sort of, oh, I don't know what it adds. It adds something with it that I like. So I'll just put one of those in at, at the moment. And then I've got this plain pink fabric. That's the salvage up there, so you can't rip that. It's just too strong, so let's cut that off. No need for that. Uh, and cut this about. This has already been frayed, so I just need to cut a little incision and then... <laughs> oh no, it's tearing the wrong way. I'm going to have to make a bigger incision because I'm not as strong as I thought I was. There we are. That's that. And they are really nice. I like them. They add something to it that... Uh, an impreciseness if you like because everything else was so pretty uh, and I just wanted something that wasn't quite so yeah that's great like them brilliant let's put them to one side you know when I put things to one side I always put everything to my left hand side and um, I'd just <laughs> like to reassure you that that table on the left hand side is groaning it's absolutely chock-a-block of things that I have put to one side Right, so what we're going to do now then is, let me show you what else I've got um, to add to the mix. I've got these beads that um, there is a video on somewhere on my Miss Paint a Lot channel of how to make these beads. But you can see they're lovely and shiny. Where am I? <laughs> Towards you. Towards me, there we are. You can see the lenses of you look. All oh, right. So they're covered in glitter glue and they're really shiny and they're lovely. And we made them, well, Mr. Fixit made them out of the baseboard that I showed you how to make. I've also got this little angel who's made out of beads, etc. She came with a box of other assorted stuff that I bought. Um, and she's on a, a split ring thing. Split ring thing. And I've made some dingly danglies out of beads so they're all to attach I've also got this heart on ribbon which will be attached that's for the other thing right okay so what we need to do now then is tie these together putting in the things that we including those things no, they go on later. Yeah, tie this together. That's it. That's it, guys. We've got it. So I'm I'm using this is called DMC Desire Memory. It came in that lot of um, job lot that I tell you about. And so my guess is it's got something to do with making beads. Don't know what. Um, I don't even know how you get it out. It's like a puzzle. This is good viewing, isn't it? <laughs> Nothing's happening. Oh, there we are. He's fixed it. So, right. Pick it up in something that you think is the middle. Middle-ish. That needs to be included as well. Yeah, got And then 
you put a piece of this stuff over there like that excuse me my nose is itchy my mum used to say when you had an itchy nose you're going to have a fight with somebody so watch out so I want to slip this on as well so as it's in the tassel I want to slip my heart on as well so as it's in the tassel and these beads when I beaded them I left a teeny tiny bit of loop at the top so as I could um, include them in my tassel. So it's getting more interesting now because we've got all these bits. Um, and it looks it's beginning to look like it might be quite nice. That's lovely. So not Mr. Fix it's boho <coughs> paper beads. And this one, I'm not sure. I'll put that on with a bulb clip, I think, later on. So that's pretty much all I want to um, include. But as you can see, it's now taking on a really interesting look. Uh, I'm just going to cut this. I presume I can cut it with my scissors. And tie a knot in it. Hey, eh? It's not what I did last time. No. No, might not be. Anyway, tie a knot in that. That's fine. This might not be the way I showed you last time. In fact, I'm pretty pretty sure it's not. Right, okay. Oh, I've got that bead that might be a bit in my way. Never mind. So you bring... No, let's leave that alone. We'll use a new piece of string. So hold it quite firmly. Give yourself an end there to work with and then you go around the top so you make a nice sort of flat top for it. Tie your knot in that. Pull everything down so it's nice and tight. Just make that into a knot that's not going to come undone. And then wind around there so you've got a sort of bobbly bit at the top so I'm doing this pretty tight like so so that's our that's our tassel looks nice and I'm just going to cut that off there and see if I can push that through the last loop that I did which is that one so I'm sort of knotting it off. I'm going through the last loop. Pull it tightly. Knot it again with the first bit that you had, which is sitting there waiting for you to knot it. So put a reef knot in that or some other sort of fishing type knot, if you know about such things, uh, but something that's not going to come undone. And cut the ends off. I mean, if it's if it's attractive thread that you're using, you can just straighten it out and use it in your um, tassel. I wouldn't describe this particularly pretty. Um, so that's that made. So now we need to make this. So it will go through that. So that will go through this, should I say. So I'm just going to literally tie a knot in it. I'm well aware this is not what I did last time, but it's what I'm doing this time. So there we have got a nice strong knot in there. Clip your ends off. Right, this is a tiny little uh, ring pull. Split. Um, ring bound thing that I've used for my journal I can't remember what you call it it opens up anyway like a, a file foldery sort of thing it opens up and then it clips back together again and that is what how we are going to affix it to our 
to our journal. And that's it. There's our tassel. Isn't it pretty? It's got all these things in it. Beads and ribbons, hearts. It's, it's got loads in it and it's lovely. I love it. I really like it. And the more you look, the more you find, actually. Because this little angel here, she's buried right in the middle of it all. So you've really got to look through it to see it. And these bits of torn fabric, I think, work really well. I love them. They're an excellent addition. Um, so there we are. There we have it. There's our uh, tassel. And here's our uh, journal. Yeah, you need to watch the bead video because I showed you two different ways of making things, actually. I showed you with Tyvek where you can heat treat it and it shrivels up and goes really interesting. And the paper bead one as well. So that opens up and it's going to go onto there. Clip shut. And there we've got our, our beady spine, which you can leave on. I like it because I like the sound of it. Um, but you could easily take it off if it's, you know, if you want to do some journaling and it's getting on your wick, just take it off. You can take the whole thing off and hang this in your wardrobe or on your chest of drawers or whatever. Uh, just something pretty to hang up and look at. It's your decision. It makes a lovely sound. Sounds like a wind chime. It's really nice. So that would be that. Right, so let's have a look through this then for us guys. Uh, tomorrow I will be doing the giveaway journal where we'll be looking at it in depth and um, I'll have my official head on. <laughs> not my, um, not the head on that I have with you guys, with my friends. Right, here we have the front cover, <laughs> which you have just seen, you've just seen me do um, I'm really pleased with it. I love it. Glad we didn't cover up any more of this cork. And we've got this padlock here that's going to go with the key for the fastening when we get to that stage. Right. You with me, guys? Let's go. Right. So this is the front, the inner front page, which I've just shown you before. It's a collage of the papers, some of the papers that we've used in the journal. And I've zigzagged around each and every single one of them. And then it's been affixed to the the card. So it's a fairly firm thing. They are all held on these three <clears throat> rings that come undone. So that gives you, the, as the new owner, the chance to take something out. So you can take it away for the day or the weekend or just to write on on the evening on your lap, whatever excuse me, or you could change the order of them around. It's up to you, but they all come out, so it makes it easier. Right, so moving on to the first leaf, let's call it. Now, you watch me make some of this. Um, I don't think all of it. This is another arrangement very similar to what we've got on the front page. So it all ties in throughout it. Um, once again, covered in this really pretty patchwork fabric. Um, that's it. It's, it's ever so nice. Uh, and so on the front, we've got the flower arrangement. As you open it up, we've got these two little pockets that have actually got dinky little tags in them, little journaling cards. And that one's just got a bit of a ticket in. But once again, it's back so you can uh, write, you know, a quick phone number or an email address or anything. Uh, this one's got a little uh, corner tuck, some flowers on, um, and it's got an envelope in it. And it's actually got some journaling paper in it as well. So it just goes like that and it tucks into that corner. So as we carry on, we've got this one, this pocket here with lace on it. And in that pocket, we've got a journaling card. And then there's a pocket behind with some lace on. And we've got two nice journaling cards in there with some liquid pearls on the top. Here's the fairy from last weekend that was didn't turn out how I wanted it to turn out. But I've actually painted some toadstools there um, and put them on. And she looks a bit cheerier than she did. She's got a little rose um, decoration at the top here. 
um, and then it folds out the other way. So we've got this um, page that I don't think you watched me make, but you cer you've certainly seen it. And it's got a big uh, journaling card, some slotted ribbon through the card, which I particularly like, and these postage stamps. And I've been racking my brains this morning to see if I could remember. They were a giveaway from somebody. Uh, and I really love them, and I'd love to tell you who did the giveaway, but I just, I honestly can't remember. So that fastens with that very clever little closure there. And these are hot fix uh, crystals, which are really, they dance the light about quite nicely. Which way am I going? Uh, yeah, I don't know, I'm not sure. I've done all of them, haven't I? Yeah. So this is the very back page. Uh, it's got a little floral arrangement. This is a tuck spot, so it's got two journaling cards in it. And this, you definitely watch me do with these, this pearl arrangement and lace all around. Um, and that folds onto there. Then we've got this trifold uh, thing there. Once again, it's stuffed with, and um, this is journaling, coffee stained paper for journaling on. Then this angle pocket here with two little journaling cards and a nice little stick on key. And that brings us back to the start of that. <laughs> I can't put your name on. You have to put your own on. What's going to happen is tomorrow, my normal two o'clock time, I will be doing a video and I'll be doing a walkthrough really in detail walk through and during that video i will be letting you know what you have to do to enter the competition is that the way we're doing it now is it yeah that's what we said i thought we were videoing a walkthrough yeah tomorrow oh, yeah but not as the live i thought we were doing yeah. video no we just said it's part of your live you'll be doing it i, I am it's part of my live tomorrow <laughs> I don't know. I don't know where to get the stuff anymore. Uh, right, so this is a this is just a walkthrough from a friend's. This isn't the official walkthrough. So this is a, a little pouch comes out. It's got a little journaling card in there. Some roses here. Uh, it's got a little journaling card in there behind the acetate. And I made that whole page and then I realised that I hadn't put any acetate in. So I had to scrap it and do it again. That was I was a bit annoyed about that. Um, but it's fine now. It's done now. And this journaling card that goes in the back there. And it fastens down with a popper like that. Moving on to this page. It's got a big pocket. This is a snippet roll that I showed you how to make. Uh, it's got three little tags in the front and it's got two journaling books in the back. Because you can't lose sight of the fact this is a journal and people will want to write things down. And on the back of that, we have um, this page. It's got a pocket and another pocket, so it's a double pocket. Uh, it's got another one of those glorious stamps on, some paper flowers, some tags here made out of the baseboard that I showed you how to make. Uh, the back's covered in uh, copy, coffee stained copy paper. Got a bit of bling going on along there. And then I've got two big journaling cards in the back um, that are all... Nicely decorated and ready, you know, plenty of journaling space on the back. And that lovely lace, that's just beautiful. I love that lace. Um, that's the last of it now. I've finished it. It's all gone. So they fit in there. And then this brings us to this, which is a big corner pocket um, with an organza rose on it there. And inside is a little notebook. It even says notes, so it gives you a clue. Load of paper flowers up there and lots and lots of paper to journal on. And it fits in there nicely. Some ribbon, uh, some bling. This opens up. Uh, there's a big journaling card in there. Just hiding. But I've put some ribbon on, so whoever gets it will know there's something going on in there. Then here, this is a little pocket. It's got a little journaling card with a bit of bling on it. Uh, this is another pocket and it's got another long journaling card. I like that. 
and that folds oh i haven't done this one have i uh this is a, a side pocket and a parisian sort of scene and some uh bling down there pearls down there and then these three journaling cards that i really love i love that one and i love that down the side of it and this one with a little bit in the top corner and then that one so lots of space to journal on and i hope whoever wins it does use it you know it'd be nice if they did so that's that page and then this brings us on to this page i don't think you've seen this page actually um at all so it's three tags with a lace belly band and each one has got some satin ribbon around the bottom with a bit of that beautiful lace behind it and then just a kind of snippet collage up the top with a little metal embellishment and this one's got a, a butterfly on it a little butterfly uh, and it just slides in there in that belly band uh, this one's the same but it's got a flower and this is a butterfly again so they stay there some lace down the side now i really like that page and then we come to the four envelope um jobby i've put you need this at the bottom to hold the bottom flap shut so I've, because it's there i've blinged it up <laughs> and there you go you can see it twinkling and on the back of that we have this side pocket with lots of sort of ribbons and stuff some liquid pearls around it and then there's a notebook uh in it there's quite a lot of paper in there and some more of that beautiful lace that i used on the front and satin ribbon with some bling down there just to match this here so that's good journaling space there and then the inner back cover which is uh, just an image it's another one of uh, my porch print ephemera that i blew up uh really large because it was only sort of that size but i blew it up really large i've, I've um, mounted it on some pink card uh, mr fix it's kindly put lace all the way around it and then we've stuck it on and i really like that i know it has no activity on it if you like it's got no pocket or anything else but I quite like keeping the back page flat. It gives you some, some chance with your journal if your back page is flat. And then on the very back page, we've got another one of these lovely collages uh, using papers that we've used throughout the journal. So that's that. So our next question is how to uh, keep it closed. And the thing that I've got the most of is this pink satin ribbon. I would ordinarily use sari silk, except for this. I don't know if it's in keeping with sari silk, really. So I'm using this because I've got it. Um, oh, before I do that, I just want to show you this. This is double-sided tape. <laughs> Have you seen the size of it? Um, it's 3M. And I asked. I was. I knew I was running out of double-sided, so I asked Mr. Fixit if he could order me some. And yesterday the man came and there was five of these in the box. So I'm not in any way, shape or form running out of double sided. Just thought I'd show you that. So, right, let's, I know what we'll do. We'll cut off a fair chunk of this. It doesn't matter if there's extra because it'll all get used up in my journals anyway. So I'm going to take the key pass this through it I don't know if this is going to work guys honestly truthfully I do not because I didn't get this far this morning to see if it was going to work or not so I'm just feeding it through there like you would with a journal ta uh, tag pull the two ends through pull it tight right okay so we've got the key and I want it on the front This journal's quite fat. <laughs> Let's see if I can get that to go around there. Around there and around there. I think I've got enough to tie a bow there, I think I have. I'm just going to bring that underneath there just so it doesn't move. Oh, passed it through the key. 
Oh, that's a jolly good idea. Yeah, pass that through the key. And then tie a bow. I think I've got enough just. I think I might need to cut. Yeah, that's just, I mean, like two inches too short. But anyway, that's kind of what it's going to look like. So what do you think? What do you reckon? So that is going to be the giveaway. So, and it'll have its dingly dangly bit on it. Like that. So that's, that's it. I mean, look, look at all the lovely stuff in here. It's beautiful. It really is. I really like that. Okay. This is much too jolly. Do I remind you of a clown on Prozac by any chance? It's me saying Regina's much too jolly. Oh, right. Uh, I love that we, her friends, are getting our own show. And, well, you deserve it. Blimey. You stick with me through thick and thin. You're just the best. Truly make him want to do another Ringbound album, but, but a pretty one like this, not a junk journal one. And Regina loves it. And Donna Crogan's giving me a heart. And Bonnie says, beautiful. And fairy chic, Paula. Says everything. Oh, you just, you're just too nice to me. You really are. I can't. I don't know what I've done to deserve all you lot. You're really great. So this is the journal. This is what the giveaway is. And tomorrow at two o'clock, when I do my normal Sunday live, we will be doing a walkthrough of this. You know, really a detailed walkthrough. And. That will be the tape, uh, the tape, hello. That will be the video that will be, you know, the title of it will be win this journal sort of thing. Um, but for those of you that are subscribed and have, you've already hit the bell, you'll get notified instantly when the video goes, goes up or I go live. Uh, and there will be an instruction during that video of what you've got to do to be in with a chance of winning the journal. And don't worry, you don't have to dance naked up the street or anything like that. <laughs> you just... Unless you want to. Yeah, if you want to. <laughs> if you want to, that's, you know, that's fine. Um, but it's nothing complicated. It, it'll be a very simple instruction. And then I'll get the YouTube random generator thing on it select the winner but i'll leave it open for a week so it'll start next tomorrow uh it'll start you know sometime around two o'clock when i give you the instruction of what you need to do and it'll run for a week until well it'll run till the following saturday so week today it will be finished so don't enter after that so today is the uh what is it 16th of may so it'll go live on the 17th of May and it'll end next Saturday. And that's pretty much it for today, guys. I cannot think of anything else that I can tell you or advise you or anything. I can say that, as I said earlier, I've downloaded some more stuff from my porch prints. So there will be another because my Etsy shop is seriously depleted. There's hardly anything in there. Uh, and I really need to get some stock made. I'm aware that we're doing the lap books for Beatrix Potter and the Flower Fairies, but they are so time consuming. I really need to get something made relatively quickly and in my shop. So I'm going to do something along these lines, another ring bound journal, because I like them and they sell well for me. So, uh, so that's kind of that. So I'll see you tomorrow, hopefully, two o'clock. Don't forget the giveaway um, thing, video, live. Uh, and then you can all pour in and, you know, if you haven't subscribed, I would. it's not mandatory. You don't have to subscribe to enter the competition, but it would be polite, wouldn't it? I think I'd like you to. All right. OK, that's it. We're off. Uh, have a great weekend, you all. But uh, here to tell you, is I'm going to what you're going to win it. Are you going to win it, Regina? Um, thank you for sharing your Saturday with me. It's been lovely. And Debbie B, thank you so much 
for joining when you're on your holidays. Um, yes, Jen, I ship to anywhere in the world. Obviously, by my accent, you can tell that I'm from the UK. This is not a UK only giveaway. This is as international as you can get. The, all the people that do what I ask them to do will are in with a chance and you will be randomly selected whether you live in Antarctica or, well, not the moon, I can't do the moon, but anywhere on Earth. OK, so feel free to join. Uh, see you all tomorrow. And thanks so much for joining me today. Take care. Bye.